Hi, I'm Claire Cooley. This is The Creativity Show. We're showing you all kinds of uses for stencils. Today, it's about these wings I cut that originally were a piece of art. I did when the Napa County Arts Council asked me to conceive of and direct a performance for them. So the art became a poster and a flyer, and then the flyer became a three-part stencil that then became these four different versions of the wings on scarves. I'm going to show making this three-part stencil into stationary cover, a package um, that the stationary can be put in. If you enjoy this video, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and hit the bell. Here's another stencil outfit. This is the copper leaves on this uh, forest green. And let's show you this turning into stationary cover. Another use that uh, came up for this piece of art was for my memoir, Incandescence Rising Above Darkness. It seemed like the perfect image of my many pieces of art for the cover of my book. Let's go for gold. This is a three layer stencil. And if you count what I cut out from this first one, that's four different ways we can use this stencil. So we're gonna keep trying new things. So let's start with the gold here. Today I'm using gold and acrylic paints and cone stencil brushes. There will be links in the description. So now we're gonna try silver. And this one we're gonna be just delicately outside the lines. Sometimes I go straight up and down. You want to be careful not to lift the stencil until you're done. And then you want to lift it straight up. All right, now we're going to use some bronze. The rest of this video is going to be a time lapse of me actually creating these envelope covers for this gift handmade stationery package. And while that's happening, I'm going to share some of my thoughts with you. I give myself permission when creating to have fun and try different things. This one's my favorite. This one's my least favorite, but doesn't mean it's not somebody else's favorite. And when you're making gifts and the variety, everybody gets one of a kind, unique, it makes it more special. So there's any use that you can imagine for this simple way to make something that people will treasure. I have notes that people have sent me, letters, that, pieces of doodles that I treasure for my lifetime that because they made them with their own hands. So of course we could send an email or a text and that's appropriate sometimes, but there's also times where making something with your own hands and giving a special communication, it will be treasured for the other person's lifetime most likely. So have fun. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comments. And please tell a friend or tell all your friends.